Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another week in recap. Now today's not going to be a normal lengthy video. I'm going to talk about sports and I'm going to do a sports debate later this week. So might as well get out that out of the way. Plus I'm kind of short of time so I can record, edit, and upload this video. <laughs> Updating you guys with my training plan. This week will be my last um, training week. A goal, five, goal 5k on Friday. I'm aiming for a sub 1730, which would be a, a official PR. But if I can get under like 1715, 1720, that'd be great. I'll do my end of season reflection, different video, and maybe a week or two, uh, maybe even after the season, so I could show you guys what I'm doing next, and so I can greater reflect on the the training and what I did. But for last week. I kind of, uh, you're supposed to, when t I tape a wrong, whatever, you're supposed to lower the, the mileage but keep the intensity. Kind of did that. Had a too big of an Easter dinner, so I'm like, I, I have to go run this off. So the mileage ended up being on par with my previous week. Same intensity, but uh, this week, um, I just went for my first run Monday because my week usually starts Monday. I'm more of like a Monday to Sunday guy, and not, not a Sunday to Monday guy. I already went for... Um, almost 10 miles today and I've race on Friday so I mean it gets gotten to a point where I'm just kind of used to running a lot of miles and when I'm not it's just like I feel like I'm slacking off and you kind of have to get used to you know uh, not doing as much miles and focusing on uh, towards the end of the season focusing on recovery and doing all the right things correctly and not too much about making your body you know tired because that's how you're used to feeling it's more of, hey, your body physiologically has no benefit to the race. Just chill out, but it's, that's hard for me to do. It's also been hard mentally for me to push. Um, late, the late last week, and pretty much all of last week, felt that push again. But the previous weeks, I felt like I was just going through the motions, kind of. If that's hard to, um, that's hard to describe. Yeah, I was just going for the run. But like when I was doing my strides, when I was doing uh, my stretching, I. I felt like I was doing the right thing. I felt, um, I didn't feel like I was just like, okay, I have to do this stretch. I felt like, you know, I was doing it right. End of some runs, I was pushing it hard, not like just, you know, cruising in or, you know, just going, looking at my watch for pace. I was like doing things with emotion. Kind of hard to explain. Yeah, last week I did 58 miles. 17 week total is 920 miles. I'm not sure if I'm going to get 30 miles in this week because my goal race is Friday. Uh, that's why I kind of did 10 miles today. I'm like, I want to get to that magical 950, but we'll see if that happens. I'm not going to rush anything. Let's go on to what I want to talk about today. Let's try to start my own running business. I know it's like, oh, Anthony's starting his own running business. Oh, he probably thinks he's super fast. But no, I just want to see. I, I'm in the running club at UF, so I'm like, I want to be able to test out products. With them, I have some ideas in my head. I've been writing down at a conference, so I'm really excited about that. Maybe I'll display it for you guys and promote it here, but I'm not, I'm not sure what I will promote for a second. It is the Launch 5s. So I was I was going to get the Launch 4s, but uh, the Launch 4s, they didn't really have in the color I liked at the store because only $65, and these were 100 but I had a gift card for 100 so I'm like, I might as well treat myself. So I bought these a couple weeks. Ago. When I was running in them, I was it was kind of squishy. I don't know how to explain it. It's been better recently, but I felt like the, the padding on the inside it was it was like my fi foot was squishing around, and also the toe length. Um, it was messing with my toes a little bit. I had to rip two toenails off. You're welcome for the visual. Not really visual. I just had toenails ripped off. I haven't really ripped off toenails in a while. Yeah, that was, a, that was an experience. They came off pretty easy, actually. Probably stop talking about toenails. This is what they look like. They're, um, I'll put the product description in the link with the links below. Full size 10, even though my foot isn't growing. I put on nines and a half. They're just too, a little bit too tight. These are starting to break in. They're really springy shoes. Are uh, really light. Um, the Launch 3s have 700 miles on them. Did a review on those. If you want to check it out, um, just in the thumbnail in one of my videos, I'll, I'll probably forget to link that. But yeah, this is what they look like. Highly would recommend when they go on sale. Do not buy these now. They're $100. They're relatively cheap, actually, for a new running shoe. Usually, they, you get them for around 100 
a um, hundred dollars. These these have gotten more and more comfortable as I've been running on them with them. Feel a little bit weird for my foot. Uh, I've had friends. I've had three pairs of Launch Threes uh, for from Brooks. From Brooks, yeah. Uh, one pair of Ghost Nines, two pairs of Ghost Sevens, and three pairs of Ghost Eights. Whoa, that's 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 a lot of miles. But the Launch Series usually doesn't give me that many miles. The Launch Threes gave me a lot. And these shoes have, right now, they have around 60 miles on them, if you want. So these shoes can last for a while. Obviously, when you're on 500 miles, you're going to want to start replacing them. Then again, if you're doing 50 to 60 miles a week, that's only 10 weeks. So running is an expensive sport. That's a running that I had. Really pretty flexible. I don't want to break the shoe. I'm going to say really flexible and it like breaks and... I find it really good for distance runs. Heel is kind of high. I have a blister, so you can see there's some blood. Um, censor that. But no, I don't know how to censor stuff. You can really see that. The heel is kind of high for my liking. Um, the, the launch threes run a little lower, and I've been kind of in a transition between my launch threes and these. These aren't injuring me yet. So, I mean, I'm trying to get as many miles as those on those as possible before they turn into like a, a casual everyday shoe that I wear. I highly would recommend to any intermediate runners. Actually, why not? Beginning runners, I think these a uh, well-rounded shoe for everybody. Highly durable. Um, I haven't had any problems with these yet. Wait for it to be on sale, please. Get the Launch 4s, they're $65. Get the Launch 3s, they're $50. They're still great shoes. These aren't anything like amazing. You know, they're worth $100 new, whatever. But wait a year until they come out the law of sixes and you'll be in business. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your guys' training and your guys' schedules in the comment section down below. Right down there, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.